Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey, and uh, today we're back on the No Man's Sky type project we've got going. Uh, so, if you remember in the last video, we did some stones, and it kind of came out a bit odd. Um, the stone didn't quite fill in properly, but we got progress and we didn't get any error messages. Um, so anyway, today we're going to be diving straight back into that and uh, getting started fixing that. First off, a note if you didn't see my video last Friday, um, I might not be recording next week because I'm going to have some computery stuff going on and that means stuff might be delayed and you know all these new stuff happening so I might be assembling bits of computer at the time uh, which will delay the uploading um, but anyway let's go into the world gen and it'll be the create event the create the planets also guys this might be the last video if I don't get enough support on it uh, I will go on to another series if I can think of one. Um, but if you have any ideas for that series, just go ahead and comment them below. So, the problem we have at the moment is it's not going down enough. So, where is that going wrong? So, we are basically looping through the whole of our grid here. Then, we are saying if it equals dirt, if the block above it is air, then we want to scroll all the way through the height if the planet if the bit underneath is equal to air then we want to stop <laughs> yep I guess that's right otherwise we want to set that to stone so that's odd that should work but let's try and just drop that break because Potentially that could be what's causing it. That could be that if statement going off a little bit. Other than that, I can't technically see what's going wrong because it's looping through all the way through the height. So technically that should mean that it's going all the way through every single block underneath. Um, there is no possible way that it could just loop once. Uh, unless we've got that break, obviously, which is probably going to be an issue. So no, that isn't the issue, which is rather peculiar. Um, ah, I remember what it was, because the wood one's not working either. So it's to do with whether it's... Oh dear, what? we'll sort that out as well. It's to do with whether the bit above is air, uh, I believe. So, if it equals this bit, I think. I think it's this one. Um, now, what could go wrong? So this is A saying if it equals air. So we also want to put in here or that equals and that needs to be wood as well because wood is also technically in that same branches. Um, the air. Uh, so the wood is there, so that should work for that bit. Um, but now we're into this for loop, so that for loop should loop infinitely. Ah, now I think I know the problem because we're essentially need to put here plus ii. Because otherwise, if we drop that ii, we're just saying if planet xxyy which hasn't changed since we've looped through here is equal to air so as we move down one one space it won't be equal to air anymore it'll be equal to bk dirt or bk block dirt so then it won't place a stone which isn't quite right we don't want it to do that we want to say all the way down in fact we could probably even drop that if statement entirely I don't think that's necessary really um, I think the idea I had last time was to make sure it didn't cause an error um, but if we try and cause the error in the first place then we can work from there and solve that error uh, so still that's not working but the wood is working so I think I'm just going to try and drop that uh, if statement entirely uh, so object world gen create the planet so we're just going to scroll down to here and just completely destroy the else if everything and just leave that little bit of code there. 
So now, fingers crossed, that should work. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through and do some proper debugging. So using the show debug messages. Um, but I think, fingers crossed, that should work. It's quite a simple thing. And I do, if push comes to shove, have a file we can uh, access. I'd like to get this finished, if possible. So once again, that is not working. What if we try another planet? No, that's exactly the same. Hmm, so what is going wrong? There's somewhere in there, there's an if statement that's causing it to chuck up a false, basically chuck up uh, something that's wrong as soon as we've gone through once. Uh, I, I think I find it. Now this was a really, really silly mistake of me. I've just noticed this is actually ridiculous. Um, I really should be better than that. Um, basically here we've we've used this loop sure so we've looped through all the times in the height but then here we've just set the same block every single time to equal stone so we need to put here plus ii and that should work now because otherwise we're looping you know we're literally just putting a repeat loop there we don't need a for loop we're just repeating we're just repeating the same action this however tall the height is you know it's like 100 or something so we are going we're just looping the same bit 100 times uh, so we'll just set the one block to be stone 100 times which won't do anything so there we go that is working but you can see here this was the error that I was trying to get rid of you know we've hit the bottom what happens if we hit the bottom also this looks atrocious this kind of um, art style but oh well I'm not an artist if you haven't gathered um, but let's go and try and chuck that if statement back in because obviously it wasn't the if statement causing that issue uh, So if we just put that back in because that was originally to make sure there wasn't an error So let's give that a whirl um, I think that should work. I think we should get rid of the errors Technically, it's not a huge error. It's just a performance error. So we want to keep the performance as low impact as possible because a lot of the time you know games like big world generation games tend to have big performance issues so that's also thrown up a performance issue still so something is not working in that if statement so let's try actually first let's get rid of this Eric this is really annoying DS grids planet so we need to hunt down this planet's grid wherever we set it uh, so is it in here that would be the logical place to put it DS grid planets create alright so have we destroyed it in another thing uh, player maybe nope so it's only been destroyed once but somehow it's checking up an error DS grid planet Ah, because it needs to be object planet dot planet. Okie dokie, that should work now, fingers crossed. Um, but let's go back into the world gen, the create, and let's try and fix this again. So that if statement is definitely dodgy, something's definitely going wrong. So if planet xx, that's right, that bit's definitely right. Um, y plus, why we're plus stone. Okay, so that's the block we're currently on. If it equals air, then break. Okay, so obviously the bits outside of the grid aren't air, which is peculiar to think about, you know, um, but technically they're in just nothingness, so null. Uh, so how could we, how could we combat that, really? Well, we could say, we could do some sort of check to see if it's out of the range of the grid which would be interesting so we could do yy plus stone x, x. so yeah let's try that so just um, cut this bit out and leave that behind and we want to see if that value is bigger than ds grid height 
planet. So this is effectively saying, is the block we're currently on bigger um, than... Could we, we could do a bigger... Bigger or smaller than. Would that work? I'm not sure. I've never tried that before. Um, that, I think, means something else. Let's just go for bigger. So if the block we're currently on is bigger than the length of the DS grid or the height of the DS grid, uh, then we want to break. Now that should work unless I've either got the crocodile things the wrong way around or I don't know what they're called for these things. The pointy things. Um, or I've put the width and the height I've got there muddled up. But either way, uh, they should be quite easy fixes. So let's give that a whirl. We st so we still have the issue, but it's less impact there. You can see there's less er errors going on. So we we're actually hitting 46, um, and 46 is the bare minimum. So 46 isn't being drawn on. Okay, so we can't refine the object planets, which is a bit tricky. So, in fact, let's put a thing in the object planets, and this will be game end. So, other game end, and we're just going to drop a bit of code in saying ds grid destroy planets. That should stop the error. And we'll go in and we'll just delete that little bit of code in the object world gen that deleted it there. Now back into the creator then, we're back into the creator planet. So we did get the if saving the right way around. Uh, only problem is we need to put an equals uh, on the other side. So this should now say if the block we're currently on is greater or equal to the length or the height of the planet, then we want to end. Now this should make it completely error free, fingers crossed. And you know if it works then we have some stone we have some trees we have a moderately nice moderately nice decent a decent looking planet um and it's not the greatest planet in the world but i think over what is it 15 or 15 episodes that's pretty good seeing as we've also yeah we've got no issues there so we have trees we have uh, a world going in we have a little jumpy man here we did waste a very long time on that uh, saving and loading, and unfortunately we did never got that done. But uh, I will, out of episodes, try and do that, and I will get a fix on it as soon as possible. Um, but for the time being, guys, I'm going to have to say that's the end of the series, the whole series done. Um, I've given you pretty much the basics to now go ahead and make your own planet, make your own um, objects, your own things basically anything you want to your own planets your own color schemes your own whatever you want to do um it, you can do now i've made the the basics for you uh remember you can also move this spaceship around i forgot about that now uh if you do want me to continue this series i will continue you know i'm not just gonna end it if you guys keep wanting me to do it so if uh you would like me to continue then drop a comment, a like, I don't know, just whatever you think is necessary to keep me doing this. And if you don't want me to continue doing it, if you want me to do another game or another genre, or even just little, little tutorials on how to do something, then uh, comment that as well. So um, if I don't get enough support, I will just go off and do something completely different. I was thinking something along the lines of League of Legends or something, maybe. Um, that would be pretty cool, I think. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm waffling on now, so if you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys want to do, uh, and I will talk to you in the next one.